Trixie? I know you're in there. Well, you're wrong. I'm sorry for all those things I said. I just really wanted it to work out. Even though I knew it probably wouldn't. I should have said something sooner. Obviously, we can't have what we want, because I'm terrible at everything and could never help you with anything. You aren't terrible, and you have a lot of great qualities. Maybe not vice head mayor qualities, but great and powerful friend qualities. Well, you really stand by the ponies you care about. Gallus even said no creatures ever stuck up for him the way you did with Grandpa Gruff. It would have been nice to run the school together, but not every pony is right for every job. I know how you take your responsibilities seriously, and maybe I should have known I wasn't exactly a perfect fad. If it makes you feel any better, no pony was. What do you mean? Well, Dr. Hooves has decided to go back to his experiments, and Octavia is worried the responsibilities of Vice Head Mayor will take too much time away from her music. Maybe getting a Vice Head Mayor was a bad idea. Starlight, obviously you'd like some help, and hiring a Vice Head Mayor is a great idea. But who could it be? Well, you need some pony who's responsible, like you, and detail-oriented, like Twilight. And smart, obviously. It is a school, after all. It would be nice if I got along with them, since having it be a friend can't work out. Maybe it can. And I knew as soon as I read Trixie's scroll that it was the exact right thing for me to do. But what about being Flurry Heart's crystaller? Well, honestly, now that Flurry Heart's a little older, there really isn't much for me to do outside of the occasional tradition or festival. And working at a school is what I always thought I'd do. I mean, if you'll have me. Are you kidding? You're hired! I had a feeling this would work out. Oh, Trixie, thank you so much. Between being insightful when I want to be and giving good advice when I don't mean to, I suppose I can be a pretty good friend. More than that, actually. You really did give good advice. And you helped me talk through the problem of finding the right pony for the job. And we know you care about the students. Trixie, the great and powerful advice giver, problem talk through her, and student care about her. Eh, I think I'll go with friend. Friend is perfect. But there's a position here at the school you might be right for, too. What would you say to being the School of Friendship's new student counselor? I'd say this office needs a bit of redecorating. Potted plants scream desperation. Phyllis, no! <laughs> <laughs>